Hey guys, my name is Trevor Douglas. I am from Fort Worth, Texas. I started singing, I, I at least started lessons. I started, I've been singing for a long time, but I started lessons when I was in fourth grade because I got the solo in my elementary school music. Playing the guitar is really fun for my performance because it's just me, so I get to do whatever I want. Uh, my guitar is also kind of a percussive instrument for me, so it gives me a band sound. Like I beat on my guitar, um, and that probably would be the way it enhances my sound the most is that it feels in the gaps of like drum beats and stuff like that on my guitar. I have a loop pedal, and with my loop pedal I can, it's kind of like a backing track, except it's live, so I record something into it and just spits it back out, but on repeat. So I can record drums, or beatboxing, and then have that go throughout the entire song, until I want to stop it. It's a lot of fun. Personally, I had never watched Idol. I was never like a huge Idol fan. So I can, the first episode I watched was mine. I never really secured a spot because I was like always at the potential of being cut. Like you can be cut at any moment. Only one person secured a spot, and that wasn't me. But um, where I got to was pretty fun. Uh, I never really watched the show before. Uh, so I wasn't a huge Idol fan, like the first episode I watched was mine. So I didn't really know the value of what I had done because I never watched it before. But later on, after I got further, I started to realize how much it meant and how cool it was. But it wasn't until, it wasn't until at least like, end of Hollywood week. Uh, the experience overall was very positive. Uh, made a lot of friends. Uh, top 24, some people before that as well. Um, it was overall a fun experience. You fill my mind right up to the well, short term, I would like to get some music out there. I have a lot of original songs, but not a lot recorded. So right now, I'm actually working with C Factory Productions to get some music out there. Uh, it will hopefully be out by the end of the month. So look out for that. You can follow my social media. Um, I'll post about it, and that will hopefully be right here in the video. Long term goals. Um, I would just like to make a living off of music. You know, the saying goes, if you uh, if you love your job, you don't work a day in your life. I would love to not work a day in my life. I don't really know if there's been like an artist that, that when I was younger, I was like, oh, I want to be an entertainer and sing now and stuff. But I do remember a moment like, in, this was like before school, before elementary school, when I was watching Sesame Street and there was a character playing the saxophone owl and I was like oh my gosh I would love to do music and play the saxophone and then I started taking violin lessons and then after that I started taking more and more lessons and I started playing guitar and then I started singing and playing guitar and everything happened since then um, but artists and stuff that I see now and like I want to be like that and hopefully emulate and take good things from them would be people like Alan Stone who's out there just being awesome and not like in the indie not in the pop hardcore pop zone uh, Bert Hoff, who does some awesome stuff with a loop pedal, Ed Sheeran, same thing, but more mainstream. Um, Eric Hutchinson, who's, I've loved him for a very long time. And Daft Punk, they influence a lot of my loops. Uh, what I'm asked the most, like, Trevor, how do you not get so nervous when you go on stage and, and, and that and such? And, um, and the way I usually respond is that what nerves are is like your fight and flight reaction, your adrenaline, and that is triggered when you perceive something as a threat. So if you go on stage and you get nervous, it's because you perceive going on stage and the audience as a threat. But because this is what I want to do with my life, I just don't perceive it as a threat. So I don't get, you know, as nervous. Yeah, I did a TED Talk. That was probably like one of my coolest experiences um, doing this so far. Um, it's like being asked to be in my favorite TV show. So if someone was like, Trevor, do you want to be on Doctor Who? I'd be like, of course. And they were like, Trevor, do you want to do a TED Talk? And I was like, of course. So that's really awesome. But I gave my talk just about creativity and why it's important in every aspect of life and how it's being thrown away a little bit. Uh, so that was really fun. But I got to do like two different talks, one for like TEDx kids and one for just regular TEDx, which adults came to. No offense adults, but kids was just like by far more fun. Like they were just super into it. And the adults were like, oh yeah, he's really that's really good. Good for him. He's doing stuff. And the kids were like, Wah! and screaming. It was it was really fun. I got to sing two original songs that I will hopefully record and have out there in the near future. So look out for that. 
she's on my mind. Uh, um, that's a really long story and complicated, which we don't have time for, and you don't want to hear, and I don't want to talk about, and yeah, just don't, don't even concern yourself with it, just listen to the music. Anything you want to know, I'll write about it. If anything happens, I'll write about it. It'll be in the world, and you'll know what I'm going through at the time I wrote that. And who I might be ranting about, or who I'm very, um, enthrottled with, or whatever. Favorite color is green. I can do this with my thumb. <laughs> Cheese. And then my favorite food then becomes anything that the cheese is on. Favorite car. I like my mom's van a lot. Um, if I get a car, it would probably be more like, I don't know, I like your brother's sister super. Uh, favorite color? Green. Favorite watch? Uh, Daniel Wellington. Uh, <laughs> that was so thrown in there, I was so, okay. Favorite kind of wall, the one that is up and blocks from something, so that it's a room. Favorite animal, giraffe. I also like monkeys. Oh, but the coolest animal, mantis shrimp. Favorite song, oh my gosh. How do you like answer that question? Um, I can tell you my favorite album would probably be Andrew McMahon's Everything in Transit. I didn't say Andrew McMahon and Inspirations, and he's so huge. Andrew McMahon is huge in there, and Inspirations. Um, favorite singer? Is that the same thing as favorite artist? Or is that like, is that just they're a good singer? Or just, I really like Andrew McMahon. He's really good, I can't believe I forgot him. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Andrew McMahon, if you're watching this video, I'm so sorry I forgot about you earlier. You're very important to me. Mar Melvin? My guitar, Melvin, he's right there. Um, he's, he's actually here with me, giving me support during this interview. Favorite restaurant would be whatever restaurant is closest when I am hungry. Preferences in women. Um, I'm an adult now. I'm 18, so my preferences in women. I'm kidding. Um, well, I really like intelligence. That is very attractive to me. Intelligence is important. Be, be smart. Don't just laugh at jokes. Only laugh, they're actually funny.